the question has been posed to many. If you could change anything about your body, what would it be? Me? I'd change my nose. Turn it into a rose so every time you leaned in to smell it, I could steal kisses. I know this is not what you had in mind. That you were only trying to find some simple thing about me that I would change. As if my body were a rack of Scrabble tiles that I could rearrange and exchange for better letters because it seems the world has got us all trying to spell beauty. So here we sit, shearing metal sheep for the steel wool that we will use to scrub away our flaws, hoping each eye of every beholder is an artist that draws gentler conclusions than the ones we have about ourselves. How can we be beautiful in a world that delves no deeper than our skin? The question has been posed to many. So often that wishing wells spit back pennies sick of the copper poisoning they get from our dreams. Seems we still think we can buy our desires for the price of next to nothing. We've been stuck inside of a mentality that suggests changing yourself is limited only to your dimension. As if our bodies are customizable, but our attitudes or beliefs are not. We behave as if thought is not malleable, as if ideas are inflexible. We pull the trigger on the question and expect something simple in response. We expect nonchalance about the bullet hole and detachment about the bleeding. We expect answers to be immediate. We are expected to have thought about this our entire lives, and now we are being asked, so be quick. If you could change anything about your body, what would it be? Me? I'd change my eyes into your eyes so every time I look in the mirror I could see what it is about me you think needs changing. We've been listening to something that's only function is to see. We've been basing beauty on our eyes, the same tool we first learned to judge with, blacksmith to our prejudice, too fat, too thin, Bad teeth, worse skin, no chin, big nose, small breasts, long toes, poor looks, cheap clothes, it goes too short, too tall, too nothing, to all the things we call each other in the name of beauty are ugly in that they allow no contrast to symmetry. As if we want the grandness of the theater without the sets, the bad choices without regrets, the bright shiny future without the dark tragic history, we forget that muscles don't mean strength of character. We blur the line between the two and forget that pretty doesn't always mean nice the same way beautiful doesn't always mean an easy life. We live in a world where children would rather go under the knife than wait to see who they'll grow up to be. The question has been posed to many. Me? I'd change my chest into a jukebox and hit a ball because someone's got to change this same old song we've been singing. As if bringing each other down is getting us anywhere other than nowhere fast, we are building a world where people curse the DNA passed down to them. Because when you ask the question, if you could change anything about your body, what would it be? What you're really asking me is, is there some part of myself that I hate?